Hanum kasalarda It's like this music It come it roll round my mind Every day I wake up It's the only thing I find to Push me forward through the pain and the strife Hey man, listen, check it Music my life so What I have playing on my headphones? <laughs> It's a mix, man. I, I uh, have an iPod and I give it to friends. I really don't, don't know what's playing. I, uh, I have people fill it up for me so I can always have something different. You know, I, I, I always like to keep up. Uh, music is important, man. That's also with the work that I do. I try to find the rhythm. So I think uh, if you have something playing that can keep you going, it's like working out. You know, this, this, these paintings are pretty big and it's a lot of physical physical work involved, so it's, it's good to have something that can actually keep you going. Get to my pocket, pull out another paper, roll another green to try and keep my head straight up. Don't play too much though, stay crisp for the haters. Look deep at leaders, find dirty human traitors. Just boom, on the flex, on the beach. My name is Daniel Angel, this is a... Uh mural that I'm painting for with uh, the Metropolitan Transportation Agency and Houston and the East End community and also with uh, the Hilo community. My work is mostly uh, color and shapes, uh, geometrical abstraction, uh, but I also included some a uh, few other um, more figurative forms. Uh, I have a dragon at the beginning. This used to be Chinatown at one point, and now it uh, has changed names. Uh, the purpose of this mural is to represent what's happening in the city right now. Uh, I feel like there's um, a lot of movement that's happening, and I think I'm part of it. Um, Metro feels like uh, they wanted something from, from an employee that is actually part of the community, an artist is part of the community that works for Metro and uh, because of the new line that's coming through, through this neighborhood, most, most, most neighborhoods in Houston, the older neighborhoods, we're going to have a train running through them. Uh, I feel pretty happy to be able to do a mural that can document some of, some of the things that are happening in the city. Uh, so far that I've worked on it for almost three to four weeks uh, with the help of the, the East End community and Metro and some other high school kids that came and uh, some high school kids that came and helped. Um, I'm happy with it. Um, I've, there's a few things that uh, I wanted to represent on this mural which uh, have some trees throughout the mural to represent the, the people that have planted roots for us to be here. Um, there's also a lot of architecture figures that that represent all the all the building, all the everything that's been built in the, in the city right now, and how much uh, is transforming into a different the city is getting a different vibe. Um, I, I wanted to have something that can relate more to kids, so I have more elements that they can relate to. I have a deer and a, a bird, and just a few things that can look more almost uh, out of a out of a book. Uh, I think it's important to have things or art around those that can spark imagination. Um, I'm really, I push, I push for things to not be so the way they are, but inter interpret them the way I, I, I feel like they still make sense and it leaves, it leaves some for you to, to process what, what, what you're seeing. Uh, there's a few elements of um, pre-colonial art, so it's like a, the sun god um, and the Aztec, from the Aztec, um, from the Aztec culture, um, I think uh, the presence of, um, especially Mexican immigrants, has has been really an impact in this in this neighborhood that we come in through this rail now, and it's important for me to document some of the of that presence. Um, I have two figures that look like uh, they look like human figures, but they're just uh, fish. Uh, and it's to represent how animals can come together and swim together for a common goal. Survivor most of the time. There's a heart right in the middle, so they're all swimming towards this heart. And you know, the heart can represent whatever people want it to represent. For me, it's more. Uh, I think we all should should look forward to to, to find a way to come together and, and swim together, just like like animals do.
if uh, we can set the footprint for other artists to to be more aware of of, of the culture around the around the, around us, cultural, social issues, and spiritual issues, the spirituality per se that um, you can reflect it in your artwork, and and also you can you can get more involved with people and, and have if you really have something to say, you can always uh, get out and say it. That's what I've done for several years in the city and people have opened up to me and it has always been just with, with the desire of uh, expression and and now things are a little more community based you know there's a lot more people that have that I have worked with that that, that also see see things the way I see it I see them and we come together and we, we create this project that some of them are going to be you know long lasting now in the city so hopefully I am um, I get to spend my energy for something that can transcend to something else.